So what's the big deal? What was all the heightened uh, awareness? Well, just over three weeks ago, we had a flurry of earthquakes that made us say, hey, volcano's doing something above these background levels and we should start paying attention more. And so we decided that we would go out and let you all know that the volcano's showing a little bit more activity than what we've seen in the past, the period just before. So we're watching. But we also want to be transparent and let you know that we're watching, but the volcano was also doing something slightly different. Okay, so what are we missing to forecast an impending eruption? Well, we expect to see more consistent and persistent seismicity. Instead of now, the earthquakes have kind of rolled off, we expect that to just keep climbing and climbing and climbing. We also expect to see the rates of deformation, increasing rates of seismic activity and the extension across the volcano to go increasing. So what's happening? We have small inflation and we have seismicity above background. The important point is that we're monitoring, we're being vigilant. Here's a plot showing the most recent activity and we're comparing GPS and tilt and earthquakes the top one is GPS and it's showing a line that we measure across the summit caldera. And we measure that line and when that line extends due to the influx of molten material underneath, so the expansion or the lengthening of that line is indicative to the influx of magma or the magma accumulating beneath the surface. So the GPS shows this gradual and we started to look over here in September and note that change. This is a tilt meter, and the tilt meter also during that period of time started to show. Now, the GPS can show magma at greater depths than the tilt meter. The tilt meter is more sensitive to stuff shallow. So both of these, the trend is the volcanoes inflate. And that's just to put it in the context of the earthquakes. The earthquakes also started to go up. And then we had this shallow inflation. And then we had this earthquake. And now you can see the numbers are starting to go down. The earthquake counts are going down. We're looking at earthquake counts per month. This is prior to the 74 eruption. You can see there's a buildup of earthquakes. And during the eruption, high numbers of earthquakes. Prior to 84, you can see the ramping up was over a more extended period of time. And now we're over here, and you look at these in that context, and you say, holy smokes, the volcano's gonna blow up. The deal is, what we have now is we have more instruments on the volcano, we have better instruments, and the sensitivity of those instruments basically means that we can sense a lot more earthquakes than we did with the old equipment that we had in the past. So I'll show some plots how we compare the past activity to the current activity, trying to compare apples to apples instead of apples to oranges right here. Okay. Now I'm looking at the same cutoff of earthquakes at 1.7 and we're looking at just prior to the eruption in July of the, of the uh, 1975 eruption and then we're just looking at, so this is two weeks prior to the eruption, we're looking at the number of earthquakes underneath the summit. So just prior to July, we had 35 events. Prior to the 84 event, we had 26 events. In October 4th, we had 130 events. That's when we kind of went out and said, hey, something's going on. And now we have, after the earthquake that occurred down here, we had 61 events. So we kind of went to a peak, and now we're kind of dropping off. Now to kind of, look at the data in terms of 
Earthquakes that break rock and signify maybe the magma's on the move, we go to slightly higher magnitude earthquakes, and we look at it in the context of the prior eruptions. Prior to the 75 eruption, 22 earthquakes of larger magnitude. Prior to 84, we had 11. Just at the peak, we had only 12. And right now, post the earthquake that you guys all felt, most likely, if you weren't working in Kona or somewhere else, uh, we've only had nine. Okay, so now we're just kind of going through and looking at it again. This is looking at data for what's happening right now with a cutoff of 1.7, looking at six months prior to. So you can see it's building up and now it's kind of tapered off. In 84, it sort of went, you know, it, we had a few events and then finally towards the end, it spurted up and we had an eruption. And in 1975, which was more unusual, we had hundreds to thousands of earthquakes per day prior to that event. So the take home message is, you should stay aware, you should be aware of the hazards, stay informed, and because the volcano is swelling, an eruption is not imminent, not at this point in time.